hi everyone yes so good afternoon and welcome to an amazing good morning it's all in afternoon to everyone else in a different country welcome to an amazing amazing new monday morning with me rabia elise rabia elise rabia someone said the other day what should i how should i pronounce your name it's been a question for years right the name in the restructuring of a generation and I said, you know, my name is Rabia Elise, but I normally tell people that I'm fine with however you decide to pronounce my name. Some people feel sometimes a little bit offended when people, people pronounce their names wrong or different to how they would normally, how it would be normally pronounced. And the name in the restructuring of where our generation finds themselves in is today when we discuss this that is the office environment that we want to find ourselves having to listen to our generation that educates one another on how to restructure the process in a way that it is acceptable and fine for everyone in a way that it is not representable but acceptable for our generation in general our generation, I, when you look at my, my fashion page on a Vogue Instagram and you look at my personal business page on page Rabia Instagram, you see the similarities as to the business that some people try to figure out and try to question and why the Vogue page, right? And it is that restructuring that we want to, when we, when we educate, we want to have people find themselves in listening to what the fashion business evoke means and represents and how the fashion business are included in the entrepreneurship, in the education, in what you own in your season, in how you decide to own you in your season, and how do you, you decide to represent your business voice in season. And therefore, the education in season is not who I, I want to have have employed in my business, right? It is not who I want to have, to have be the next business owner owning a business in our generation. It is that that is acceptable and that is everyone in our generation are acceptable for the next best job, right? To own their own next best business, right? It is that, that when we look at the circumstances in our generation, then it could have never been created to exclude someone but it was created so that they can be made so that they can be provided for someone else right and when we learn to provide for someone else we learn to find way to to not exclude people but we learn to find way and to listen to that that is how can we how can we how can we structure our organization in a way that even includes the prisoner today and that even includes the employee that finds themselves challenged and has been dismissed in the previous role. And that even includes someone else who has never been employed and now they require that financial support and now they require that that is employment in general. It is that, that when we look at the challenges that our generation currently has, then we learn it is going to one be going to be one thing for us to want to have the office environment. That when we look at Rabia Elisa's Vogue fashion page, and when we look at the Rabia Elise entrepreneurs page, then we would want the fashion page to now include only the professionalism that we have. And therefore, then Rabia educates and we restructure and we re-educate even with our representation and our social pages that this is our generation in general. The requirement is not to have Rabia conform to where someone else wants to hide away and want to hide behind the professionalism of what a business page should look like or what a page on a, on a, on a, on a social media on a social media a side website that is that is inclusive of everything right that does not deprive the one the other but it is acceptable for whoever voices an opinion right and that is when you learn that fashion exactly is that opinion that educates that this is where we represent at this is our generation in general and you might be introduced to someone that want sometimes want to be employed in office and the person would then maybe have had the chance 
talents have had to represent themselves in a different way. And that are sometimes in office is questionable when an office when an office leader has to employ someone, they sometimes question the person that they have to employ based on a social media page, right? It is those representations that people try to lock people out of a generation and the discussion and the argument in our generation can aggress people further. It can aggress the circumstances further. It can aggress our generation further. And we are therefore required to educate even our leaders, even our office team members, that the requirements are not to aggress our countries and to aggress our generation and to aggress humanity in general. But the requirement is to provide and to have way to make sure that there's provision made for everyone in our generation that forms part of our generation in general. And that's what we want to have us focus on the restructuring of the office environment today. And I'm gonna educate us through just uh, uh, just a little bit of history of my career specifically, and a little bit of opinion and advice based on my career history, based on my employment history, based on the extensive years when when you count your career history, you count your employment years, you count your your secondary school, your primary school years, and you get to the age of 50 years old, then it's not challenging to ask countries to make provision for people to be provided for, and fund to be provided for citizens, for residents in countries from the year 50 years, 55 years old, and we want to focus on their discussion today. So my career started at New, I can say my career started when I completed, yes, I was still at New Orleans Secondary School, right? And I then got an employment role as a waitress, right? About 18 years old, it was the Lot Hotel, right? And I then, while I was still in year nine or something, and I was already 18 because I was already kept back a year or two in primary school at New Orleansville Secondary New Orleansville Primary School, right? And I went to New Orleans Secondary School. And I remember the year that I that I had to travel by train from the community where I was staying at about some kilometers away to a different community where I was employed at and every Friday would now be my journey on a train that now would have for me go to my waitress job that I would work on a weekend and a Sunday I would drive I would get back on the train to Paul community and I would then um, go back to school on a Monday morning and I remember having to start that journey very young right and I remember already when I started secondary school questioning the amount